up guys, it's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so... I've been dreading this part. Yeah, this part of the walkthrough for quite some time. Mainly because, uh, yeah, it's, it's a long one. We can't use our bike. We, I, well, yeah, we, don't, we, we can't use a bike. I think we can run, but we can't use a bike. Or anything like that. Yeah. But it's gonna be a long one. And Team Plasma's gonna be around somewhere, including ninjas and all that stuff. So yeah. If it kinda sounds like I'm a little pissed off or I'm a little bored about it, eh, it is what it is, whatever. Let's go on right here. So in our next, in, in this episode right here, we're gonna be going through the Charge Stone Cave and uh, we're gonna be battling a lot of people right here. Off screen, I was training some of my Pokemon except for Sign of the Torrent, and holy crap. Oh damn, they just like appear out of nowhere. These guys are freaking ninjas, like Naruto and shit. Yeah, he's like, come. Oh damn, and oh wow, look, and waiting for us right there. He's like, my lord, and we brought the one you wanted. Oh, what, what, where, where the fuck did you guys go? Oh shit. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Ah, yes, that was the Shadow Triad just now. Gets us enlisted, uh, enlisted them in Team Plasma. Apparently, they were the ones who prepared the Gal Galvantula nest at the cave entrance. Oh, really? Hmm, okay, so that, that makes that makes a lot of sense right there. Charge Zone Cave. I like this place. Formulas express electricity and a connection and the, its connection to Pokemon. If people did not exist, this would be the ideal place. You have been chosen. You... Or, yeah, you have been chosen. You know? Does it surprise you that I said that? No, not really. Hmm. If you don't understand what the, that means, it's not likely to surprise you. I told guesses about you and your friends. After I did, he's apparently used the Shadow Triad to find out about you. Oh, really? Sharon is pursuing the ideal of strength? Poor Bianca has faced the sad truth that not everyone can become stronger, and you, and you are not swayed either way. More of a neutral presence. Which apparently is, or which is a, apparently a good thing. Team Plasma will be waiting for you ahead. Getsus wants to see what kind of Pokemon trainer you really are. I'm the greatest of all time. I am the GOAT of all time. I don't even know. Whatever. But yes, this is exactly what's going on right now. Uh, we're going to be uh, encountering Team Plasma from time to time and all that crud. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a long ass episode. Uh, in this area right here, you will be able to find a lot of electricity Pokemon, electric Pokemon, and uh, hey! Okay, uh, who, who, who just said hey? Oh, hey, what's up, girl? Hey, 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 what you doing? Draven, did you know this? The floating stones move when you touch them. Right, Professor? Professor? I don't really, oh, oh, there you are. What's up? What's up? Hi there. How are you, Draven? Looking around, looking around. This place is always charged with lots of electricity like uh, that Pokemon like. The electric charges react from one stone to another, and that's why some of the stones are floating. But not all of the stones can be pushed. My father asked me to research Clink, which is a Pokemon that looks like a gear, because I was researching the origins of Pokemon and the era they, uh, they appeared. He knows how to get the get what he wants from people, but I already uh, I was already interested in, in this anyway. So it's lots of fun. Oh yeah, Draven, this is for you. And we get ourselves a lucky egg. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so that will actually help us with our training right here. Giving that lucky egg to a Pokemon to hold uh, increases the amount of experience here, or experience points received in a battle by a lot. Having a strong Pokemon will make it easier to fill your Pokedex pages. Alrighty. Okay, so that is uh, one conversation we're going to have with them. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be moving on right here. So, like I said, you're going to be finding a lot of electric-type Pokemon right here. Very interesting uh, electric type Pokemon, and uh, well, we're, uh, our mission is to get by this whole area right here because we can. So let's go right ahead and move this whole thing right here, and uh, let's see, grab this little bastard. Found ourselves a paralysis heal. Be aware, just 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 be aware that you know there will be a lot of electric type Pokemon, and they will try and paralyze you badly, so badly. So let's grab this, a heal ball, look at that, we got ourselves another Pokeball right there, and uh, let's move on right here, and this guy's running around, hold on just a sec, be 
before he stops us. So as you can see, my Pokemon, I've leveled up just a little bit, except for Sign of the Torrent, mainly because it will evolve at level 36. That's why it is equipped with the Experience Share. I will test to see whether you have the what it takes to aim for the Pokemon League. Although we're not close to the Pokemon League at all. So... Let's get this. I'm going up against Ace Trainer Jared, and he wants to come out with his, uh... Oh, damn. Arkin. This is a cool Pokemon. A very, very cool Pokemon right now. Okay. Let's go. Let's get this. Razor Shell. Take care of Arkin, because it's still a Rock-type Pokemon. And uh, look at that. Arkin defeated. Fatality. Flawless victory. That's right. I still go with the Mortal Kombat stuff. Now, am I going to name any Pokemon... Uh, am I gonna name any Pokemon, uh, after another Mortal Kombat character? Probably so, and, uh, look at that. Wonder what that could be. We found ourselves a normal gem. Now, usually when Dusk come up like that, it's usually a Pokemon. Or, it's usually an item. So, yeah. That's kind of how I found, uh, what's-his-face, uh... Uh, drill manga right there, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna switch my Pokemon right here to Hotshot. Now, there are two Pokemon right now that could evolve in this episode. It's gonna be a long one, don't worry, guys. And it's uh, Hotshot and Sigh of the Torrent right here. This cave is full of rocks generating electricity. The electricity is charging me up. Good for you. Good for you. Alrighty. Let's get this. So Scientist Ronald would like to battle, and he will be coming out with a Clink. I did not know that he was coming out with that, but I'm glad he did. Some good stuff right there. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, use Flare Blitz. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, or not in the last episode, but off-screen, Hotshot learned Flare Blitz, or fl Flare Bill Blitz, and, uh, well, I changed up its equipped item. Gave it the shell doll just in case because you know it will get a recoil damage right there. So there we go. Clink has been defeated, and here comes the recoil, and here comes the shell doll. So eh, it works. It works hand in hand and all that crud. Okay, so let's uh, move on right here. Okay, we can't do that. And if you try and hit these stones one time, you will get paused for just a little bit. So now I just move that stone right there. We grab this. We find ourselves the revive. That's awesome. That's great. That's that's good. And uh, we've already walked a hundred steps. Good God. Okay. Uh, not bad. Let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, let's move on right here. Let's see. I think we need to move. Okay. Wrong place. Wrong step. Let's go towards the end right here. I think we've already moved that stone. So we need to move the stones around right here. Crap baskets. Okay. Get out of the way, man. There we go. That one's going there, and that one is going down there. Look at that. Okay, so we're moving on ahead right here, and let's press this right over here. And as soon as we press that rock, Professor Juniper and Bianca are walking by, and they're going to be like, Hi there, did you find something? I think we're just about done collecting data. This cave has been around since the distant past, but... That proved that Clink existed more than a hundred years that it can't be found. So that must mean Clink suddenly appeared a hundred years ago. Where Pokemon come from and where they where they're going? If we can learn that, I believe we can uh, get along a, even better. No, what, Draven? Pokemon are mysterious. I wonder why these but these amazing little things. Holy crud! Did you just see that? Yes, it just appeared out of nowhere. My bad. Okay, so what I was saying, I wonder why these amazing little things stay by our sides. Oh crud. Need to click on this little bastard? Okay. Okay, so like what I was saying, I wonder why these amazing little things stay by our sides. Okay, and she's gonna be looking by and, well, that's, wow, that's, that's all they're gonna say right there. And, uh, more repels have been, uh, well, I'm using up the regular repels. Then after that, I'm just going to be using Super Repels, which is uh, just a uh, hundred steps higher. And, uh, well, let's go ahead and press this little bastard right there. And, uh, I, oh, okay, so that one will go right there. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy here. I'm a hiker exploring caves. I will teach you the harshness of life and the difficulty of Pokemon battles. Okay, bring it. 
Okay, so here we go, going up against another Pokemon trainer, and it's a hiker. He will be coming out with a Bulldore right here. Should be awesome. Should be, uh, should be easy peasy lemon squeezy right here. And, uh... Okay. Hotshot should be able to defeat this guy. Oh, actually, you know what? I do have a move right here. Gyro Ball. Haven't yet to use it. There we go. Super effective, but good god! Okay, so that, that right there is going to be a little bit tough. Okay. Okay, so let's go right ahead and just switch out. Actually, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon right here. What the hell am I doing? So let's go straight to Sign of the Torrent because we need to evolve you. We really did it. So let's go. Right here. And Sign of the Torrent. Gonna get hit with a Smackdown. And that right there was uh, something else. But here we go with the Razor Shell. Let's get this. Razor Shell. One hit. Nearly beats this guy. Lowers his defense just a little bit. And here comes our uh, crap. Gonna lower my stats right here, too. You asshole, you. Okay, so let's go. Razor Shell again. And there goes Bulldore. That's right. Okay. Alrighty. And uh, he's gonna be coming out with a girder, so let's go with another Pokemon right here. Let's go with Gigalift right here. Take care of business. Make sure everybody's taken care of, right? That's right. We can do this. We can do this, Gigalift. Let's kick some ass. Alrighty. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Off screen, too. It learned Synchronize or Synchronoise or something. And I don't know why it keeps on missing right here. Hold on just a sec. Let's go again. Synchro noise and... Oh, it doesn't affect the Golder. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so I may have chosen the wrong move right here. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Psybeam. Screw it. Let's go. Psybeam. For the win. Take that, buddy. And there goes Golder. There, there, go, there goes Gurger. There we go. There we go. And there we go defeated you. Okay. Alrighty, so let's move on right here. We can't go up there right now, so let's go ahead and press this boulder right here. Actually, we don't. I think we already moved it. And, uh, well, as soon as we cross by right here, we're gonna be, uh, damn! Getting attacked by these guys! Go. Oh, damn. Man, a few words, and they're, wow, they're moving me pretty fast, and, uh, they're gonna be like, there are stairs going down ahead. Team Plasma is waiting for you there. Oh damn, okay, all right. Whatever you say, homeboy. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab this, a Hyper Potion. It's always needed. Okay, let's go. Press this right here, and uh, let's go ahead and, uh, well, the Repel has worn off right here. So let's go right ahead and use another Repel. And, uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. And continue on with our Pokemon right here. Now, if you see this person right here, I think they will heal your Pokemon if you defeat them, right? I love this place. The electricity charges my inspiration. It should. Okay. Let's get it. Scientist uh, Naoko. 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 Don't know how to pronounce that, but here she comes out with a clink. I'm about to destroy it right here with a little bit of Fire Punch. And... Well, they like to use your X attack, so you're going to be using an X special right there. So here we go. Fire Punch. Take care of that, and there we go with the Clink. Oh, yeah. What now? What now? Now, Ko has been defeated. Now, I don't think she can heal me or anything like that, so... Let's go right ahead and uh, move some more boulders right here. And uh, let's see. Actually, hold on. Hold on just a little bit of a minute right here. Crap baskets. I think I did the... Yeah, I, I screwed up. I kind of screwed up. So let's go right here. And let's go right back up there. And let's move this little piggy. And yeah, buddy. Okay, so we grabbed this guy. We found ourselves an iron. And uh, now we're just going to be moving on ahead right here. We don't need this. And... Good guy. There goes a the repel. So, uh, luckily for us, I did buy myself a buttload of repels right here. I don't know where they're at right now. Uh, some super repels. Let's see, where the hell are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, so 15 good repels. Let's move on. Okay, let's go right here. Okay. 
So, let's move on to the second phase right here. Now, this normally takes two episodes to do, guys. But I decided to do it all in one. Let's see what this is. Another... Oh, an oval stone! Okay! Alright. Good evolutionary stone. So, like I was saying, I was thinking of doing this in two episodes. But, you know, one episode is good enough for me right here, guys. Uh... More like the fact that, you know, this place is long and it's, you know, it's, it's whatever and all that stuff and... Well, these guys are the Nugget Brothers, and I am the little brother of the Nugget Brothers. Glad you showed up. I want you to. I want to give you this, and they're going to be giving us some good nuggets. Alrighty, and I want to give you this too. We got ourselves nuggets. Alrighty. Okay, so we got some nuggets right there. Uh, so yeah, uh, lots of uh, lots of stuff that we we have to cover right here, and uh, you know it's a good good amount of time to talk about different stuff. You know, like COVID nineteen still kicking our butts. I wonder what you guys are doing, and what can we find right here? Hold on, there might be a hidden item right here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, hold on. Right there. We found ourselves an HP up. Alrighty. Okay, so, like I was saying, COVID-19, I wonder how you guys are taking it. Comment down, like, comment down below on what you guys have been doing the last few weeks, last month since this whole COVID-19 started. Uh, I can tell you this right now, that, you know, I'm not an essential worker. You guys already know I'm a personal trainer, and uh, gyms are not allowed to be open and all that crud, so yeah, that right there is a bitch for me, so you guys already, like I said, you guys already know my activity, I've been Pokemon battling, doing these walkthroughs and all that stuff, just the other day, I actually did an all-nighter for my Pokemon Oras, an all-nighter for a Pokemon Liquid Crystal, and uh, right now I'm kind of doing an all-nighter for Pokemon Black, mainly because... You know, this actually does give me enough time to finish all the walkers. I mean, normally, normally if I do three or like two or more episodes or two or more walkthroughs, it takes a little longer for me to actually uh, get them done and all that stuff. I proved that before when I was driving XC711, and uh, that was the main reason to why I, you know, I stayed with one walkthrough. That's it. But since COVID-19 happened, yeah, you know, I've got all this time in my hands. So, you know, why not fill it up with a bunch of episodes? You know, a lot of you guys are actually happy about that, which, you know, I'm actually glad for, you know. If I'm entertaining you guys in any way, uh, during this time of need and all that crud, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad that I'm doing my part right here. At least YouTubers are essential, right? I don't know. Hold on, where the hell, there it is. Okay, so we're fine, we found ourselves a revive. That's good. Okay, so let's move on right here. And here's Team Plasma. Waiting for us all smugly and all that stuff. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab this item. Found ourselves a timer ball. Nice. Okay, so let's see. Another, another thing that I've been doing. Let's see. Well, since gems are kind of not essential and all that crud, I have been doing a lot of workouts at home. Lots and lots of workouts. And trust me, guys, it's not it's not simple. It really isn't that simple because normally I like to do cardio, lots and lots of cardio and a lot of uh, a lot of weightlifting. But when you're limited on all that stuff, yeah, you <laughs> you gotta get a little creative. So I've been a little bit creative, fell down quite a few times. But it's all cool. It's uh, it's all good. Now, do I currently know anybody, or have I had any family members affected by this? You know, COVID-19 and all that crud. No, thankfully, no. And I am hoping that, it, like. You as my viewers, look at that, level 36. Uh, you guys as my viewers have not had anybody, you know, affected by this whole COVID-19 thing. And if they are, my prayers are with you. Hopefully they come out this stronger and all that stuff. And hopefully we get this whole thing done because I need to get a haircut. I need to go back to a proper gym. And I need to have some fun. And plus, this better not be cutting into football season because I got another championship to win, okay? I'm not being cocky. That's just being confident right there. So... Again, guys, comment down below. Tell me what you guys have been doing since uh, this whole COVID-19 thing. If you're a high school student or anything like that, um, tell me what kind of homework you guys have been doing and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure you still uh, do it online classes. God damn, Hotshot. Hit him! God dang it. There we go. See, Hotshot just bugging the crap out of me right now. There we go. Eat it, Scraggy. Oh, yes, and then the shell bell is actually going to help us right now. And he's going to be coming out with the watch on, so I'm going to continue on right here with Hot Shot right here. And let's go, Flare Blitz, take him out. 
freaking hate Watch Hog. Oh yes. Now, if you guys are not like, if you guys are in the same position as as I am, you know, non-essential and all that stuff, comment down below. Tell me what you guys have been doing. You guys been getting creative, playing walkthroughs, watching my walkthroughs, or playing video games and all that crud. And uh, well, finally. So as of today, April 17th, as I'm recording this, a month after I started this whole thing, yes, Sigh of the Torrent is finally evolving to its final form. Oh yeah, Samurott. And if you guys don't remember why I nicknamed uh, Samurott or, you know, Ashwa by its by Sai, Ronin Warriors, Samurai Warrior right here. Look at that, Samurott. Oh yes. And he wants to learn Slash, okay, let's teach it Slash. Let's see, uh... Well, uh, let me take away Fury Cutter. It really doesn't need it anymore. There we go. Very, very good physical attacker right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. Let's see. Here. And, uh, well, as you can see, it's attack. Very good physical attacker. Its special attack is where it's its key. Eh, its speed is right there. I don't know. Special defense, not that great. But its defense is pretty good. So it's... A combination of uh, special and physical and all that crud. It's all good and all. So now let me go ahead and take away this experience here. And uh, let me give it to Hotshot because that's another Pokemon I want to evolve by the end of this episode. Uh, it will evolve at level 35. So let's give this, the Mystic Water, to Sigh of the Torrent. And let's give the experience here to our good old buddy Hotshot right here. So we're going to be taking away the shell bell right now. So it's going to be exposed just a little bit. Just a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and use that hyper potion. Should be, it should work. There you go. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon right now. Let's see, whatever. Right here, let's go with Hot Shot. Right in the middle. And let's go ahead and just beat these guys. Let's go. Look at that. Look at that, okay. If I win against you, release your Pokemon. Never. Now, I just started my Pokemon Omega Ruby walkthrough. And uh, last night, the 16th of uh, April, okay? I don't know when I'm gonna release all these episodes right now, guys. But as of uh, the 16th, I have already gone up to episode 30. And that right there lands me at the end of the desert, already defeated my daddy. Look at that, level 34. What's up? And, uh, well, I'm gonna, be, I'm, like, on screen, I'm gonna be capturing a buttload of Pokemon. And if you guys are wondering, am I going to add my Unova team onto that walkthrough? Yes, I will. At some point, I'm gonna have to put them in there. Uh, I've been bragging about this all this time. Pokemon Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, they do, yeah, they do such a good job by adding all the Pokemon within the generations, and uh, you know I can't wait to have this team right here onto Pokemon Omega Ruby. And uh, well, I don't think we can capture. I don't think we get a uh, a uh, Kalos starter right there. But yeah, yeah, I'm not not even gonna like mention any kind of Kalos Pokemon because I already have a team in mind. It's just well, you know. Like, I'm not gonna give out, or I'm not gonna give away any kind of, uh, you know, secrets of, like, what, what, what my team will look like or anything. That's why Pokemon Omega Ruby, uh, Kalos Pokemon that I'm thinking of will not be nicknamed. It's just gonna be, you know, like, gen the, the generations that I currently covered right now. And then once I get to Kalos, you guys will see. You guys will see. So there we go, defeated this guy. It is the Hotshot Show, featuring Hotshot to Darumaka. And look at that. You! You are the trainer that my lord N is worried about. Really? He's worried about me? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Another team Plasma Grunt wanting to battle, and she will be coming out with a Trubish. Well, let's get this. Bring it on. Bring it on, young lady. Let's go right here, and Fire Punch. Oh, yes. You gotta love the strength of this Pokemon right here. You gotta love its strength, it's just, bam. It, it's just, it's, uh, it's effect is what really sucks, because you don't know when it's gonna miss, its accuracy is all fucking out of whack and shit, that, you know, it's, it's just annoying. So let's go right ahead and use another strength attack right here. Oh yes, it's a little bubble of, uh, 
of energy right there. Look at that. One hit KOs every single time. Yeah, buddy. And we're going to continue on right here because it's close. It is so close. Holy crap, I'm going to have two Pokemon involved in this episode right here. Look at that. Strength attack for the win. Suck it, Trubish. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. The winner. That's right. That's right. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on right here. We got a lot of uh, Team uh, Galactic members right here. As a proud member of Team Plasma, or, well, I said Galactic, it's Team Plasma. I always get those two motherfuckers confused. I will gladly battle you. Alrighty. Let's get it. There we go. Team Plasma Grunt wants a battle and coming out with the Warchars, my most hated Pokemon right here. Yep, the most hated Pokemon that I got. Or that, you know, I kind of hate. Let's go with the Flare Blitz attack right here. And, uh, Crud Baskets. Here comes a Confusion. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Come on. Come on, Hotshot. Damn it. Ah, you suck, man. Okay, here we go. Come on. Get the Flare Blitz. Come on. Come on, Guanchog. Or, not Guanchog. Hotshot. There we go. Finish him off. Oh, yes. Take that, Watchog, you asshole Pokemon, you, and look at that. Finally! Finally! There we go. And it's learning Taunt. Uh, nope, I'm not going to teach it Taunt. And, well, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon since it's finally doing its thing. And let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Sigh of the Torrent, a.k.a. Samurott. Alrighty, let's get this. Samurai, looking all pippy and everything with the big ass mustache. Jealous mustache. If I ever grew my mustache out like that, I might gel it out like that. So here we go. Razor shell. Oh yes. Finish him. Oh yeah. Look at that. Pokemon are growing. They're doing their thing. Kicking ass, taking names, all that crud. Yes sir. And uh, well, like I said, I was going to evolve these two Pokemon and there it is. Darumaka, did you evolve too? Forgot his uh, evolution. Holy crap! Eh, I'm gonna read it right here, anyways. I don't care, guys. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Evolve, evolve, you little bastard. Look at that. Bam. Oh yeah, Darmanitan or Darmanitan. Hot shot. You are an awesome Pokemon, and it's learning its first fighting type move. Thank you. And it's a hammer arm. Now there is a little bit of a risk going into this because you got both flare blitz and hammer arm. Both are, you know, and they, they kind of hit you. They kind of have recoil. So yeah, shell belt is definitely needed. So I'm going to take away gyro ball since, uh, yeah, it's not much of a, 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 it doesn't really help me much anymore. So let's go right ahead and let's do this first. Okay, so first is first. Let's give this shell belt back to uh, Hotshot because it's going to be losing a lot of HP. Give that experience share to our good old buddy Shatter right here because that's the last Pokemon it needs to evolve. And let's give that expert belt to... Let's see. What's this? Uh, Rocky Island. Actually, you know what? They're covered. They are pretty much covered right here. Uh, okay, so first is first. Let's go right... Actually, you know what? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking while I'm talking right here. Let's go ahead and give that Hyper Potion to my Hotshot right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at the newest Pokemon, Hotshot. Alrighty, so what do you got to say? Hotshot right here, Fire-type Pokemon only, and look at its attack. Just look at its attack right there. So, it is a physical attacker up the butt. Its special attack sucks, so if I try to put in a flamethrower, it, it's, you know, it's going to be like a little, little flaming fart. That's it. That's what it is. And it is speedy, and uh, well, we just gotta take care of its defenses. That's what it all—that's what it all lies to. That this guy is such a, an attacker that you know, it's gonna—it's gonna hurt you a little bit more when uh, when you get hurt. As you can see, its ability is sheer force. It says remove added effects to increase uh, move damage. The hell? Remove added effects to increase move damage. Oh, okay. Well, 
I guess it means that, you know, it's just sheer muscle, sheer force, and all that crap. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon, and now let's go ahead and try and get Shedder to, to evolve and all that stuff. We almost have a fully evolved team right here. And we move that. We gotta move that. And uh, first and foremost, let's grab this. Oh, look at that. We found ourselves a Thunderstone. That could be useful, I think. I don't know. All right, let's go get uh, get attacked by this guy right here. Actually, the hope of Team Plasma. Well, it has nothing to do with you. Okay, alrighty. Let's get it. Okay, so Team Plasma Grunt would like to battle, and she will be coming out with her Liper. Okay, let's go, Shudder. Let's get this. We got this, right? We're gonna destroy you with a little bit of a high jump punch or high jump kick and crud! What is it with these freaking uh what is it with these freaking uh, fake outs and stuff? So wow, you are you are faster than my Pokemon right now, so right now I'm gonna just kick you and look at that Lyford defeated. What now? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Easy. Easy battling and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, go down here. I think there's a little something that neat. Oh, crud. We're gonna be battling more Pokemon trainers. Okay. Maximum effort. Let's go. I'm really serious about training. I have. I even uh, visit the, this electrified electrified cave to train my po myself and my Pokemon. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get it. Ace Trainer Allison would like to battle, and she is coming out with her Drillbur right here. Okay, alrighty. Let's get this. Let's go. We got this. Brick Break, do your thing, and crud. He is a. Uh, he is a. Uh, you know, disappearing before. I right, so what we're gonna do right now is gonna switch it out to Gigalith right here. And we're gonna make sure he doesn't get hit. Alrighty. Try and hit me. Let's go. Does it affect me? See? That's how you do it. And uh, let's see. Synchro Noise. What does it do? Seriously. And it doesn't... Okay, how does it not affect this Pokemon? I probably should have read this a little bit... Uh, yeah, I probably should have read this uh, before I actually got it. So hold on just a sec. Let's go straight to Pokemon. And uh, let's see. Check moves. Synchro Noise. Using an odd shockwave, the user inflicts damage on any Pokemon of the same type in the area around it. Oh, wow. So, the only two Pokemon that it can actually hit is Psychic and Flying. No wonder. Wow, I kind of screwed myself there, right? Kind of. Wow. Well, Pokemon 101 with Draven. At least I'm learning, right, guys? I guess. And here he comes out with a uh, Home Claws. Alrighty, see what you're doing right now. So here we go again. Let's get this Psybeam. Alrighty, Psybeam. You've never let me down. Maybe sometimes, I don't like now, but... Yeah. Oh yeah, and Shedder, you're going some ass stuff, and here he comes out with the Zip Striker. So let's go with our Drillmonger right here. So we're finally getting some freaking uh, fully evolved Pokemon. It's looking like a beefy team right here. And the Zip Striker. Look at that. Oh, damn. Looks all mean and everything. Well, let's go with a dig. Who's faster? Well, Zip Striker is. That's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Here we go. Let's go. Dig attack. Getting that dig attack and say goodbye to Zip Striker. Look at that. Defeated. Alrighty. Okay. It's Shatter. Growing to level 35. You got four more levels to go before you evolve, buddy. Four more. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I have to do right here? Okay, so I have to move this right there. Okay, and uh, is there anything actually? Hold on, dowsing machine. Where are you? Oh, downstairs. And uh, we're going to be battling another trainer close by. But before we do that, let's go right ahead and uh, repel up and get some uh, more items right here. We love our items, right? So let's see. Right here. Super potion. And uh, let's move on right here. Grab this little bastard. We got ourselves another hyper potion. It's always nice. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
Actually, hold on. Dowsing machine. And, uh, yeah, I thought we were gonna get attacked by another Pokemon right there. And uh, where the hell? Okay, right here. Okay, so we found ourselves a star piece. Nice and dandy. And, uh, wait, yeah, hold on. Where are you? Right over there. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that item and then battle the beauty right over there. And, uh, let's see, grab that. And we found ourselves a rare candy. Actually, you know what? Screw it. You know what? We're very, very close. Why not stop? So let's go right ahead and give that. Let's give that to our good old buddy Shedder right here. So now we're trying to evolve our Pokemon. Yes, we used our last rare candy, but it won't be our last right there. And let's get the dozing machine. And where the hell are you? Okay, where the hell are you, little bastard? Okay, so it's on that corner. I guess I'm gonna have to go right here and battle this girl right here. Let's see, what you got? What do you got? Even at an electrified place like this, if somebody challenges me, I will take that challenge. That is an ace trainer. Okay. Alrighty, let's go. We're gonna be battling uh, ace trainer Stella, and yeah, she will be having a, well, this is not much of a new Pokemon right here, but it's Gapita. Gapita. Great. So, let's see, who has the advantage right here? I think she does. So here we go, headbutt. Let's get it. And it flinched. Yes, sir. Let's get this. Headbutt again. That's right. Oh yes, Moxie. Oh yes, you gotta love you gotta love uh, everything that Shatter has right here. Now she's gonna be coming out with a ducklet. But let's take advantage of this. So let's go with Ace. We haven't seen you in quite some time. But that's a good buddy. Here we go. Stoutland from Scotland. My good old buddy Ace. And uh, this guy right here coming with the ducklet. So let's go with a crunch attack right here. Eventually, I'm going to teach Ace a little bit more moves. It's actually a very good Pokemon to learn elemental moves. I think I'm going to teach it some electric moves and stuff. Yeah. You know, that, speaking of which, okay? So I was debating on getting myself an electric type Pokemon and replacing Ace with it. But since I have such a hard hitting team, I kind of want to keep Ace with my uh, with my team and all that stuff because it's stats, it, you know, it's actually very good both uh, physically and specially, so, or, sp yeah, whatever, you know, I, I, I kind of made up that word or something, or it's probably the same word, I don't even know, but it has very good stats to where it can cover both, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what led me to just keep Ace right here. Uh, one Pokemon that I was interested in using was, uh, what was it, Garvantula. God dang. Yeah, I was actually planning on using Garvantula because of both its uh, electric and bug type capabilities. Knowing that, like, like the last time I actually had a bug type Pokemon on my team, it was, uh, what was it? Venopede. Yeah, it was Venopede back when I did, like, the second uh, Pokemon Black walkthrough. Yeah, what are you doing? God dang it, Lilligan. Oh my god. But yeah. That was the last time, and it was a pretty good uh, bug type Pokemon to actually have. I was thinking of using uh, what, what you would call it, uh, the bug type Pokemon, the uh, grass type, bug type, and all that stuff, but it didn't really match and all that stuff too. So, and then uh, I was also thinking of using uh, what was it, Electros or Electric, Electric Electros. Yeah, both those Pokemon right there. Electric and Electros, or, or whatever. It's the same thing. It's the same deal and all that stuff. I was actually planning on doing that. But I also saw that it's, uh... That it's, uh, speed. It was, a, yeah, it's speed was kind of detrimental to what I was trying to go for. And look at that. We found ourselves a Bright Powder. It's a very good thing. And let's go ahead and use that Dowsing Machine again. So, yeah, I was planning on using that Pokemon, but it's speed. Yeah, not... Not to my liking. Uh, we did find a Thunderstone in here, so we could have evolved it as soon as we, you know, got it to evolve again and all that crud. Uh, but it is a very difficult Pokemon to actually train when you're trying to, like, you know, get into levels. And as you can see right here, Drillbird. You can actually capture one right here, too. That's pretty cool. So, that's my reason to why I'm keeping, uh, I'm keeping Ace right now. Eventually, I don't know. I might change it up a little. I don't know. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ace right here. So, as you can see, it's special attack and it's attack. 
Yeah, well, okay, I guess I was lying about his special attack right there, but he can learn extra special attack moves like Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Ice Beam, that kind of stuff. So this could be like the Jack of All Trades Pokemon. And its phys physical attack is pretty good too, alongside with its speed and its physical defense. So I do have a tanky Pokemon. You know, it will help out and all that stuff. So I guess I was bullshitting at the first thing that I was saying. Yeah, well, that's pretty much what Draven knows and all that stuff. It is what it is. I learned, I learned by playing, and I learned from you guys too. So we got one little guy that we haven't battled yet. So actually, you know what? Shatter still needs a battle. Need to get this guy. All right, what do you got? Why does he have an X on his head? Okay, trainer. You use Pokemon. Show me your strength. Okay, let's go. Let's get this. Another Pokemon Trainer, and his name is Pokemon Trainer Grunt, whatever you are. Here we go. Coming out with a sand dial. Oh, uh, easy pickings for me right here. Let's go. Shudder, let's get this. Let's go with the high jump kick. Feeling a little lucky right there. Oh, yes. Uh, that's right. And uh, there goes that Moxie. You gotta love the Moxie. And uh, let's see. He's gonna come out with a wand jug, so I'm gonna continue on right here. Alright, so let's go with the high jump kick right here. Bam! And uh, yes, Watch Hog defeated again, and uh, here comes more Moxie. You know, I could have nicknamed this Pokemon Mox after John Moxley, you know, the AEW wrestler. Could have named him after that, but uh, you know, yeah, it is what it is. I kind of nicknamed him a little too late right there. Okay, so I think we're towards the end right here. I don't know. Oh, crud. We still got more trainers? Holy shit. How many? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so this is the... Okay, actually, you know what? No, we're, 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 we're at the end. Never mind. Woo! Okay. Okay. Okay, so I almost freaked out right there. I really did. So I'm going to be using another repel. And what we're going to do right here first, we're going to battle this guy. And uh, let's see what he has to say. I want to solve all the mysteries in the world. For that purpose, I will keep fighting. That is some very good inspiration. Very, very good inspiration. Okay, so here we go. Scientist Orville coming out with his clink. I'm going to be coming out with the clink. I'm going to be destroying the hell out of him. Clink, clank, clang. Clink, clank, clang. Clink. I don't know. Alright, high jump kick for the win. Oh, wow, he's doing a dire hit. Okay, alrighty. Here we go. High jump kick. Let's get it. And bam. So the last one kind of hit me. That's what happens when you use high jump kick. It's just gonna it's gonna screw you over sometimes, guys. Look at that. Shatter keeps on growing levels like a pimp. Good for you. Alright, so let's see. We're pushing this. So that will actually enable us to get to this uh, get to this area now with ease without going through all the rooms and all that crud. And uh, well, let's see, that trainer right here might be a problem. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna switch my Pokemon. Let's go with Gigalift. We don't want to leave it uh, behind. I'm just throwing out. Let's go. Bring it. Take this. The winning strategy I developed. Okay. What kind of winning this, uh, what, what kind of winning uh, strategy have you got? Let's see. Here we go. Corky would like to battle, and he's coming out with the Whimsicott. Or wins, win, Whimsicott. Whimsicott. Oh, it's Whimsicott. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get it. Air cutter. Okay, and what the hell? Was that cotton spore? It was cotton spore. You asshole. Okay, here we go. Air cutter. There we go. And uh, let's get this fly. Of course, he's gonna be a little faster than my Pokemon right now. Uh, you suck. Okay, here we go. Fly attack. Let's get it. And the gust. Oh, crud. There's the gust. The gust. Alright, here we go. It hit me again, so let's go with the side beam. Wait, is Whimsicott uh, the same typing as mine? Because if it is, then we gotta move for this guy right here. Look at that. Alrighty, okay, look at that. And uh, let's see, he's gonna be coming out with a tier Tiertuga. Oh, we already know what that Pokemon is. Okay, what's up? The ancient Pokemon right here, and we're gonna be doing another Psybeam since it's a very uh, defensive Pokemon right here. Like all, 
like all freaking uh, whatchamacallits, and crud, he does have crunch, and that nearly takes out my uh, Giga Lift right there, so let's get this. What now? Porky. You've been defeated, buddy. Eh, what kind of a winning strategy is that? I don't know. Alright, let's grab this right here. And we found ourselves a magnet, which it can be used to actually uh, power up any electric type Pokemon right there. And uh, let's move on right here. And uh, hold on just a second. There is a little something I need to do because uh, we might be battling. Uh, what's his face? Yeah, we might be battling N. So let's go right here. And, uh, okay, everybody's healed. We're ready to go. What the heck is this? It's a Pokemon. God dang. Alright. So, here we go. Going up against the Jilber. That doesn't look so scary. It really doesn't look so scary right now. So let's go. Let's get the heck out of here. Gigalift. Gigalift. That's a good Pokemon name right there. And Anne is right here waiting for us. He's like, many different valleys mixed together, and the world becomes gray. That is unforgivable. I will separate Pokemon and people, and black and white will will be clearly distinct. Hence the name Pokemon Black and White. <laughs> Only then will Pokemon become perfect beings. Yes, that is my dream. That is the dream I must fulfill. Draven, do you have a dream of your own? Why yes, I have plenty of dreams. I got a lot of dreams. It was this one time I was eating a big old marshmallow in a... Oh, wait, not that dream. Okay, so, yes, I'm going to say that. You have a dream. That's wonderful. I'll learn. I'll learn just uh, what kind of a uh, dream you have in a battle. Okay. Let's get this. Let's go. We're going to do this. We're going to be going up against our rival, our true rival, and he is, uh, well, he is stacked with a good amount of Pokemon right here. As you can see, he's got himself his Bulldor, a tank of a Pokemon, and, uh, well, I got to switch out my Pokemon, but good for us, Gigalith will get experience points for these troubles right here, so let's go with Shatter right here. Let's go. Shatter. Let's get it. Let's go, Shatter. And here comes Lane at the smack it down. It doesn't do much to us. Let's go. High jump kick. Finish this guy off right here. And it stays because of its sturdy. And here comes Iron Defense. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do right here. It's raising its defense and all that stuff. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and use Headbutt. Yeah, I know we're hitting our heads on a rock, but it is what it is, guys. You know, he still defeats them. Look at that. Look at that. Both Pokemon game levels. Look at that Moxie. Oh, yes. John Moxie would be proud. Look at that. Level 37. Two more levels. And Gigalith, level 33. All right. He's coming in with a Joltik. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Drillmonger. Let's go, Drillmonger. All righty. Let's get it. Drillmonger. Okay, so, yeah, this is a Pokemon I wanted to use, not Joltik, yeah, this was a Pokemon I wanted to use, and, uh, well, you know, I kind of thought against it because, yeah, I got a good Pokemon, I got a good team going, good team dynamic, you know, it's, it, it all, it is what it is and stuff, and here's gonna, here's gonna be coming out with a Pharaoh Seed, let's go straight to Hotshot right here, we haven't used Hotshot yet. What a better chance than to show it off right here. Look at this guy. He's looking pimping with his two fair, uh, like flaming eyebrows. Pretty cool Pokemon right now. Well, let's go with the Fire Punch. Oh, yes. We don't need to waste a lot of HP right now. And look at that. It does have Iron Barbs, but we do have the Shell Belt, so we will get some HP back. And he's coming out with a Clink, so let's continue on right here with Hot Shot. And, uh, wait, did I... Oh, I, I don't think I gave. Oh well, fuck it. Iron or hammer arm. Let's go. Look at that. Oh yes. Actually, wait. Oh, okay, so it lowers its speed. Okay, so that, that, that right there is pretty good. It's okay. But look at that. Shell bell recover. And uh, well, the Pokemon are doing fine and dandy. We're doing great. Alrighty. What? Why? Is it impossible for me to win while feeling bad about being a trainer? As if I were to pursue my ideals with something as meaningless as a battle? 
As if that could only make uh, me worthy to become friends with the legendary Pokemon. Draven! What's up, girl? What's up? Look at that. Hey, Ann. My girlfriend right here. Just a little further to Mr. Alton City. Mm, oh, look at that. It's Professor Juniper. How you doing? Bianca, you have good ears. I can't believe you heard Draven's voice from that far away. Well, we got a special bond. We got a very, very special bond. That's why she knew I was there. I was close. Kind of like Jean Grey and Cyclops from the X-Men. That thing right there. Draven, who is this trainer? Professor Juniper, what are you thinking? You appear to have no equals about the relationship between Pokemon and people. You put Pokemon onto a categories using arbitrary rules and think you can uh, understand them like that. The very, the very idea of Pokemon revolts me. What do you have to say for yourself? Professor Juniper's like, oh my, looks like you're not the big, you're not my biggest fan. Your opinion is under, your opinion is understandable. It happens to be different than mine, which is equally understandable. How about if all Pokemon, or all people get to decide for themselves how to relate to Pokemon? You're saying, you're saying I should just allow people to think whatever they want and treat Pokemon however they want, no matter whether the Pokemon suffer. I refuse to tolerate the existence of a world like that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, you really, you really, uh, touched the nerve right there, Professor Juniper. All right, all right. I'm liking this professor. She's, uh, using her pimpette hand. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I didn't expect him to change uh, his mind right away, but I hope he'll spend a little time trying to understand how others feel. Now then, I think I'll go collect a little more data for Pokemon and people to get along better. We need to take steps to learn more about them. Alrighty, okay, all right, I'll see you, Professor Juniper. Um, Draven, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Professor Juniper now because I I I'm her bodyguard. Okay, well, whatever you say. Okay, so here we are at the very end. We are finally in Miss Trialton City. And, uh, oh god, it took us damn near an hour, damn near an hour, and, uh, well, I couldn't be happier to do this episode right now, guys, because we finally did it, we finally got to Mastralton City, episode 25 of this whole thing, uh, again, COVID-19 is, uh, messing the world up, and I'm only hoping that many of you guys are keeping safe, your families are safe, Everyone is safe, and I hope that I'm bringing a little bit of joy with this whole walkthrough right here, guys. I'm glad that, you know, you guys, if whoever spent the time watching the whole thing, I'm glad that you did. Uh, more episodes will be coming, I promise you that, because, yeah. Lots and lots of uh, late-nighters and all that stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.